Hey Realtors, in this video, we're gonna be talking about what I think are the 10 best AI tools that you should be using in your real estate business in 2025. Now, all of these tools that I am talking about, I have tried myself. And to be honest, a lot of these, I'm not seeing people talk about when I look at other YouTube creators or Realtors who are posting videos online, which is shocking to me because these tools are so powerful and can make such a big difference in your business, whether it's just to make you more productive or to save you time or to prevent you from having to hire an assistant or an extra realtor on your team. So if you are a real estate agent wanting to use AI in your business and you're wondering what tools you should be using, this is the video for you. Now, all the tools that I talk about in this video are gonna be in the listing description below. Some of them are gonna be my own personal affiliate links, some of them won't. So as you're watching this video, don't worry about Googling and trying to find these tools. All the links are down below and you can check them out anytime. Real quick, if you haven't watched my videos before, my name is Brandon. I'm a real estate agent here in Canada and I'm also an AI consultant to realtors from around the world. I also am an owner of an AI developer development agency, developing AI systems for real estate agents just like you. So if using AI to automate your real estate business is something that interests you, then hit that subscribe button so you can get notified of all of my videos that are coming out. But anyways, let's get back into the video and check out what I think are the 10 best AI tools for real estate agents to be using. So number one is pretty basic. I'm just gonna put it under the umbrella of LLMs, but basically it's any kind of AI that you can speak to in order to generate answers for you, like ChatGPT, which is probably the most common one. The reason why I didn't say just just ChatGPT is because I actually use a few different ones depending on the job that I'm looking to accomplish. For example, I use OpenAI's ChatGPT if I'm trying to just get some basic answers on something or maybe a quick response about something. Essentially, I use it as like the new Google. So when I just want a quick answer, I'll ask it something. Maybe if I wanted to generate like a quick listing description or something like that, that's short, sweet, and straight to the point, I'll use ChatGPT. If I want something that's a bit more creative and a bit more personalized, then I'll use Claude. Claude is made by Anthropic and it's just like ChatGPT, has a lot of similar features, but I find that it's just a little bit better in writing more creative work. So if I wanna write like a long form LinkedIn post or a blog or some copy for my website, typically I'll use Claude. I also use Claude when it comes to anything to do with coding. So sometimes if I'm building an AI system or an automation and it requires a bit of JavaScript coding or something like that, I'll just go into Claude, tell it what I'm doing, and it'll whip up the code for me way quicker than I or any developer ever would. And it's very, very accurate at accomplishing the task that I'm trying to accomplish. So Claude is another good one if you're really diving into building automations and using platforms like N8N, where sometimes you have to put a little bit of custom code in. And then the last one that I use on a fairly regular basis is Perplexity. The big difference with Perplexity is all of the information that it gathers is up-to-date live data. So it's not gonna pull its answers out of you know an article that was written five years ago. So I use it a lot for things like neighborhood stats, real estate analytics, crime data, anytime that I want the most accurate up-to-date to date stats or figures, I'll use perplexity. And I know some people in the comments are gonna say, well, ChatGPT has the deep research function. And while they claim that they use up-to-date data to generate their answers, I find that perplexity is just more accurate and just generates a better response. So ChatGPT, Claude, and perplexity are the three LLMs that I use on a regular basis. So number two is Lovable. Lovable basically allows you to use AI to create websites and landing pages. You can also create web apps with it, but that's a whole nother technical realm, so we're not gonna go into that. But in terms of my real estate business, I use Lovable for a lot of different things. So for example, if I want a landing page for an open house that I'm putting together, I can create one in literally 35 seconds. If you want to create a quick check-in form for people who are visiting your open house, you can do that literally just by telling the AI that that's what you want. You can also create custom websites for your listings, which I've actually created an entire video on. If you scroll back on my page, just a few videos, you'll see it there. But yeah, basically anytime that you need like a website or a landing page or a sign up for or some kind of page on the internet, you can use Lovable to whip it up in like 30 seconds rather than spending hours on Wix trying to figure out how to develop this website and connect the forms and do all this stuff. Number three is gonna be Gamma. Gamma is amazing for creating AI generated presentations. I use it for creating listing presentations and buyer presentations and even for creating resources that I can give out to my clients like buyer and seller guides and condo guides. But because it's so quick and easy to do with AI, you can add in personalization to really level up these presentations. So for example, if you wanted to create a buyer's guide for your client, but you wanted it to be personalized to them so that it's speaking their name and specifically referring to the neighborhoods that they're looking for, Gamma is amazing because you can whip up a buyer presentation in like 15 seconds. If you already have your own buyer presentation, you can just copy and paste all of the text, put it into Gamma, and it will just create a brand new presentation for you. Or you can let the AI do the work for you and just tell it what it is that you're trying to create, and the AI will write all the text 
text, even generate the images, and basically just do the entire thing. It blows my mind every time I use it, so I highly recommend that you use it if you're creating any kind of presentation or guides or even like listing pamphlets. This is definitely the tool for you. Number four is gonna be make.com. So you've probably heard me talk about make.com a million times. It is my automation platform of choice. You can also use Zapier. I just don't use it personally, so I'm not gonna talk about it. But make.com is the platform that I use for pretty much all of my automated workflows and connecting my different apps together. If you've never used an automation platform like this before, you can think of it like it's a platform where you can connect your different apps that you're using using in order to speak to each other and transfer data and do different things. So for example, if you want to bring all of your leads from your Facebook leads into a Google Excel sheet, and then you want to email all of those leads after that inside of Gmail, you can connect those three tools together and have it run in one continuous flow. They have a ton of different native connections already. So a lot of the CRMs and email platforms and different tools that you're already using will be integrated in make.com already. And if it's not, you can always just do a simple API connection to connect to that tool as well. Number five is Pixels. Now this is one that nobody really ever talks about. I think it's actually a pretty new platform, but it works really, really good. Essentially, it's an image generation platform, but it excels at creating YouTube thumbnails. So if you're a real estate agent who uses YouTube a lot and creates a lot of videos, this will be a really great tool for you to use because the thumbnail that you're using on your video makes a huge difference in how many views that video is going to get. It's all part of YouTube's algorithm and you know human psychology, but if you've ever tested a ton of different thumbnails on one video, you'll see that the right thumbnail can make the biggest difference in your video having 100 views versus 10,000 views. If you don't create a lot of YouTube videos, then it might not be worth the money, but if you do, then I definitely think it is worth the investment. Number six is gonna be N8N. So N8N is like a supercharged, more powerful version of make.com. It's a little bit more technical, but where this platform excels is when you're building AI agents. It has the absolute best best format for building AI agents that I have personally seen without having to be technical and do a bunch of coding. They have different types of AI agents natively built into the platform so that you can just set them up right away, connect your different tools and instantly have an AI agent that you can have working for you. You can also connect your different apps and just do automated workflows just like in make.com. But if you're just doing simple automations, I find make.com is just easier to use and quicker to set up these workflows. NADN, like I said, is a bit more technical, but personally I use NADN in my business for building these AI agents to manage my emails or to qualify new leads coming in. Almost every AI agent that I build is inside of NADN. Number seven is going to be Vapi. So Vapi is an AI voice agent platform where you can build your own AI voice agent. If you don't know what an AI voice agent is, it's basically exactly what it sounds like. It's an AI agent that uses voice as its communication system. So you can think of like an AI calling your leads and qualifying them or asking them specific questions. And before you roll your eyes no this is not like the robotic telemarketer phone calls that you get AI voice technology has improved so much especially in the last like six months it is almost indistinguishable from a human voice you can program it to say things like ums and ahs so that it sounds even more natural and you can even clone your own voice so that it sounds like you are the one calling your leads Vapi makes it super super easy to set up an AI voice agent connect it to a phone number and the platform itself is free to use you only pay per minute of phone time that the AI is using. So if using an AI to call your leads or even to answer the phone just like a receptionist would at your office, Vapi is a great platform to start with. Number eight is going to be Lindy AI. So Lindy AI is a super powerful platform to set up AI agents for yourself. Now I know I said that I personally use N8N for my AI agents, which I do, but like I said, N8N is a little bit more technical. Lindy AI just makes it super, super easy to go in, pick one of their pre-built agents, set it up, and you're basically good to go. You can't get as custom and technical with these AI agents. But if you're looking for something that they already have set up or you know something that you could pretty easily manage on your own, like an AI agent that looks at your calendar and tells you what you have going on for the day, then Lindy AI might be a better option for you than N8N because it's easy to get going. It's pretty straightforward on how to use the platform. And they've already done a lot of the work for you in figuring out you know what AI agents you should use in your business. So if you're not a technical person whatsoever and you don't wanna learn how to use a platform like N8N, then Lindy AI might be a better platform for you. Number nine is gonna be Luma Labs. So 
Luma Labs is a really, really powerful video generation platform. Just like other platforms, you can just tell it what kind of video you want it to create. But when it comes to my real estate business, what I like to use Luma Labs for is uploading pictures of my listings and getting it to actually animate those photos. So you can upload a photo of let's say the front of your home and then tell it to create a video where the camera is panning around the front side of the home. So rather than you having to pay a videographer to come out and shoot those different videos for you, you can just upload the photos and have Loom Labs create the videos for you. Now sometimes you have to do a couple different generations in order for it to look really realistic because every now and then the AI will generate a video that you know, doesn't look super realistic or the average person might be able to tell that it was AI generated but that's the same with any AI video generation platform nowadays. Sometimes you have to just try a couple times before it creates the perfect video for you. And then my last suggestion number 10 is going to be Hyros. So Hyros is probably the most powerful platform that I've ever seen when it comes to analyzing your Facebook ads and being able to figure out what's working, what's not working, where you should be putting more of your money into and where you should be pulling more money out of. Basically, Hyros uses AI to analyze your ads, analyze the analytics and figure out all the different nuances of what's working, what isn't and what you should be tweaking. So if you are a real estate agent or a real estate team or a real estate brokerage who runs a lot of Facebook ads, I highly recommend you invest in Hyros because it will make all the difference in optimizing your ads and making sure that they are so dialed in that you know you're getting the absolute best ROI possible. So hopefully that video was useful for you guys in figuring out what AI tools you should be using in your real estate business. Again, all of these are tools that I personally use in my business, so I am happy to recommend them because I know that they work and they work well and specifically they work for real estate agents. If you want to learn how to actually use these tools and really get into the nitty gritty of how to build AI agents and automated workflows and all these different things that I've talked about, click the first link in the description below where I have a wait list for my online community slash course that's going to be coming out soon called the Autopilot Agent. It's where I'm going to be teaching you all of my secrets on how to use these platforms, how to build AI agents, how to build voice agents, how to build automated workflows inside of make.com. Basically, I'm going to be teaching you everything that I know about AI and automations for real estate. The course is not quite finished yet, so it's just a wait list right now. So click the link below and join the wait list. The first 100 people that join the community are going to be getting some extra bonuses like locked in early bird pricing and my own personal templates that I'm going to be sending to you so you can just drop them right into the platforms rather than you having to build them out yourself. If you don't know how to set these things up on your own and you don't want to learn how to set these things up on your own or maybe you're just too busy to learn, there's also a link in the description below where you can book a call with me and my team to talk about how we can help you set up automations and AI agents in your business. We have a full development team that builds out these AI systems for real estate agents. So if you don't want to be building these things yourself or you just don't have the time to, then book a call with us below. And lastly, if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button below so that you can get notified of all of my videos that I release. My mission is to help as many real estate agents as I possibly can around the world integrate AI into their business to automate as much as they possibly can, be more efficient, close more deals, have better work-life balance, and honestly, just live a better life. So that's my mission. I hope you can help me get there. Click subscribe below and even like the video. It helps YouTube know that this video was useful to people and they show it to more people, which helps me accomplish my mission. Again, all of the tools that I talked about in this video are linked down below. So if you're wanting to explore any of them, just click those links and it'll take you right to those pages. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support and we will see you in the next video.